I love Burlington. I love Newfoundland. Newfoundland is an incredibly important place to me. It was birthplace of my brain, my creative energy, my perspective on in so many ways. But I can genuinely say it has nothing to do with mom directly. He could have gone out and I don't know, been a little shithead. He really could have. He could have gone, but I think she always reined him in and made him have gratitude and appreciation and kept him grounded. I don't believe in life after death. I don't believe in heaven. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in any of that. And my mom taught me that in a big way, a number of reasons. She was a nurse at an old folks home. I asked her one time when she, she'd see death all the time. And I asked her, tell me about what it's like to see someone die. And she said, it's basically like someone's home and then they're not home anymore. <laughs> like, like my goal tonight when I went out there was I want to go out, I want to talk about God, I want to start bringing religion into it so I can try to work it out and see where it goes. But my brain didn't fire that way, so I was like stranded. I'm like, oh no, what do I do? They like this dirty stuff. Fuck it. Looking up, God who's watching. Dear Lord, help me. Well, maybe he's right over there. God created man in his own image. God created man in his own image. It's just funny. And then, yeah, like, how do we know? How do we know? That actually leads into that old bit about, um, how do we know? I mean, you know, we think we know, and then we don't. We make all these crazy decisions. Like, like if you think about the stories, God created man in his own image, they say. I had no idea God was a member of ZZ Top. 